guys, assalamu alaikum. It's Jenny. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are taking a break from the savory sort of items and we are jumping into desserts. So this week's video lineup would be on desserts. Today's video, we're going to be making some mini cheesecakes. So cheesecakes would be one of those desserts that I probably choose just in case like you know say there was no chocolate item I would probably choose cheesecake instead plain cheesecake to be exact. So let's jump into this video on our mini plain cheesecakes. Let's go through the ingredients for our cheesecake guys. I've got my cookies that I'm using here, digestives to be honest with you. Uh, you can use Oreo as well, graham crackers. I'm going to be using some granulated sugar, eggs, sour cream, we've got my cream cheese here, vanilla essence is going to go in there as well, melted butter, and to top it off, you can use any of uh, any topping that you have, this is raspberry topping, or this strawberry topping, blueberry topping, whichever one you get your hands on, you can top it with, of course. So you can use any cookies that you have. I have an Oreo cheesecake video up as well where I use Oreos. You can use that or just about any sort of uh, cookies you get your hands on. You can use that instead of the digestive biscuits that I am using. So the first thing you want to start off by doing is adding those cookies or digestive biscuits to your food processor. So you want to make sure that the pieces are very, very fine. You want it to be at that crumbly uh, sort of texture. So once you have that done, you're going to add the melted margarine or the melted butter to the crumbs of your cookies. And you're just going to mix that all up. It might be a little sticky-ish, which is fine, be a little grainy, but the point of this is just to sort of hold it together. But let me just add though, I've actually done it without the margarine and without the butter and it has worked pretty well for me. So I think in my other videos, can't really remember, but I would have probably not added the margarine or probably would have mentioned it too. So you can actually eliminate this if you like and if it's not really falling apart when you're eating it, at least for me. So, you know, you can decide if you want to do the margarine, add it to the, the crumbs or if you just want to do the crumbs alone, up to you. So the next step would be, of course, to put it into your cupcake liners that you've already put onto your cupcake tray. So this part you can choose any amount. Some people love a lot of crust in it, some people like no crust in it at all, some people like it just a little bit. So you can uh, put it up uh, as much as you like. But in this particular recipe, for the amount of the digestive biscuit that I've used and the uh, measurements with the cream cheese or the cream cheesecake from filling that you see just now, I will, it yields about 16 to 17. So of course, if you use more of the crust, if you want more of the crust, you're gonna have to use more of the digestive biscuits, of course, and then that means you're gonna get more than 16 or 17 mini cheesecakes. So be mindful of that, of course. The recipe, the full written recipe for this will be found on my website. The link will be down below so you guys can get an idea just in case you wanna increase the uh, digestive biscuits or whatever the case is. So the next thing you wanna do is just make sure that you press that Cross firmly at the bottom of the cupcake liner. So you can use your hand, you can use your fingers, you can use a bottle cover, anything that you have just to press it firmly at the bottom there. So you're going to set that aside and now we're going to work on our cheesecake mixture. So to my bowl, I'm adding the cream cheese. Now you want to make sure that the cream cheese is um, not straight out of the fridge. So let it chill, let it thaw out a little bit so that it makes the mixing of it a lot easier. You just want to mix it up until it's nice and light and fluffy-ish. And then you're going to add in your granulated sugar, your sour cream and your vanilla essence. actually made cheesecakes too without the sour cream and sometimes I can't really get my hands on the sour cream so I've actually eliminated a few times and to be honest with just there's not much of a difference so if you don't get the sour cream um you to try to try it without it and you know see how it goes but it will be just the same way and you know it will it will be just as fine 
So we have that nicely mixed up. You're gonna add in your eggs one at a time and you're gonna beat it until it's a nice smooth mixture. Now what can happen if your cream cheese is not thawed out nicely, you'll get little clumps in the cheesecake um, mixture. You don't really want that, so you want to make sure it's nicely thawed out before you start mixing it all up. So once you have that nice smooth mixture there, you're going to be emptying it into each of your cupcake liners. I like to use the ice cream scoop, it helps a lot in terms of I put one of the ice cream scoop into each cupcake liner. So of course with this part too, there would be no swelling of the cheesecake. So say you want to put a lot of your um, topping at the end of it, you know you can put a little less of the cheesecake mixture into each cupcake like now. But I'm going to be filling mine about three quarter way up. And once they're all finished, I'm going to be putting the cupcake tray into a water bath. So the water bath is very important. It helps to the cheesecakes to not crack when it's baking. So I usually put the water bath is just simply a tray or a bowl with water and then you're going to put your cupcake tray or your baking tray that the item is in into that. And you're going to be baking this at 350 degrees for about 30 to 35 minutes. So 35 minutes later, this is what it looks like. So ideally when you take it out of the oven, check it after about 30 minutes and it should feel bouncy. Like when you touch it, it should feel a little bouncy. So once you finish baking, you're going to let these cool, let these chill completely before you put your top in. Although I've done it when it's not completely chilled yet, but you know, let it cool, let it chill food most importantly. So you can remove it, put it onto a tray and let them chill. And for the topping bag, you guys can experiment with this. I'm going to simply be using these store-bought toppings. So there's strawberry, there's raspberry, there's blueberry as well. My preference would be no topping at all, to be honest with you. But if I had to choose, I will choose the strawberry topping. So you're going to put some on the top of each of your cheesecakes. And again, you can add as much as you like. And then there we have our mini cheesecakes, guys. So cheesecakes is something that I probably would have never imagined myself making until my sister-in-law introduced me to it. And she's still the best cheesecake maker and dessert maker ever, to be honest with you. But you know, now that I have the hang of it, I've done uh, the Oreo cheesecake as I mentioned, and I think I did eggnog cheesecake as well. So I realized I didn't have a plain cheesecake one, and a lot of you guys kept asking for a plain cheesecake recipe. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and yes you can do a full big one I just think it's so much cuter when we do these little mini size uh, cheesecakes it's almost it's so so fun so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and of course if you've never tried cheesecakes you probably thought it was going to be a little complicated process or it seemed intimidating give this recipe a try the recipe the link for it the full list of the ingredients will be down below so you guys can click on it and get the full list of all the ingredients that you guys need so unfortunately I did not get a chance to break one of them let me just explain so how my videos are done I do my videos in advance so sometimes um, I will be cooking and don't feel like doing intro outro whatever the case is and I will just put the camera up set it up so that you guys could see what it is I'm actually cooking so I have videos on my laptop ready to edit from about two three weeks uh, before and when it's time to edit that video I get my week's theme video all together I would review the video and then just come and do like intro outro and talk about it with you guys so unfortunately I forgot to break a piece of the cheesecake because I know many of you guys like to see what the insides look like especially for these baked items so I do apologize for that but um, somebody even asked why I don't taste the food after so this is just an explanation as to why all of my videos most of my videos are done in advance so when it's time to post um, the upcoming week's video, whenever I get time, I just sit down, I take a day and I will go through the intro, outro and the talking on the camera like this, uh, all you know together for the video. So I have my video lined up already scheduled. So that's how the videos usually go on my end. There will be the rare occasions where I do cook um, and talk, intro, outro and everything at the same time. Then you guys might see the food or might do the day after so i still have some food or something to share with you guys on the camera but this video was actually done you know before the talking about the video so hope you guys understand so you guys can check out the eggnog um cheesecake and maybe the oreo one i think that i would have broke a 
you know, broken it in half for you guys to see in that one. But nevertheless, hope you guys appreciate this video. Hope you guys appreciate all the videos. Trying to mix it up a little bit. So this week is the desserts sweets video. So of course, thank you as always for watching. When you do try this recipe, don't forget to send me those pictures. Love getting those pictures. So thanks again, guys, and I will see you all in my next video.